Hello everybody, it's Nikki Edgel here. Um, I'm delighted to see you today and speak to you about something that is uh, often uh, very unconscious in our lives. Things that we might be aware of, possibly some of it, but possibly some of it's just running in the background and causing you stress. And what I'm talking about today is trapped emotions. So um, this is a part of a series of talks, as some of you have been following. If you've just joined, uh, please do have a look at the replays. They're all on YouTube, on my Neek Energy um, YouTube channel, as well as here in the Nutrition and Healing Facebook group. And we've been talking about how to boost your immune system and how to rebuild your confidence, your self-confidence in um, really navigating through uh, this lockdown and um, as the lockdown eases now. And we're having a lot of change every day and it's really, you know, a lot of what's been going on is affecting us very much on an emotional level and triggering all sorts of emotions that while in everyday world, pre-lockdown, we were often able to um, to just shelve, to put in a box, put it box, put it on the shelf, and not really have to deal with it because we were busy with other things. And this lockdown has actually helped in some ways to reveal some of the underlying issues in our lives and that are really causing us a stress and um, trapped emotions things that happen throughout our life, uh, they're often patterns. I don't know if anybody's watching this live, just let me know. Um, if not, if you're watching the replay, just have a think now. Um, are there patterns, things that happen to you kind of over and over, you know, attracting the same sorts of friendships or relationships that uh, cause you to have uh, the same sorts of feelings, um, whether it be oh um, being let down or humiliation or uh, betrayal of some sort or just feeling insecure um, or um, that there's uh, some sort of de rejection maybe or maybe anger is a theme in your life or um, resentment or blaming or um, or shame. Shame's a really uh, powerful emotion and often we have this running and um, manifesting itself in, in different ways in our body. So shame can often be felt in our lower organs around um, the root. Hi, uh, hi, Joe. Uh, yeah, yeah, betrayal, rejection, yeah. And I, I definitely have some themes running myself. I, I'm pretty sure that every single one of us do. And this might, you know, it might be in the form of like, you know, you just keep having like physical accidents on a particular side of your body. Maybe it's your left side. And the left side is very much about your internal world, the, the your your uh, your feelings, um, and it's the feminine or the the yin. It's the in inter, inner world, if you like. Whereas the right hand side of your body is very much more the masculine, the yang, and it's like reflecting the outer world. So often we find that the accidents, you know, I know in the past, you know, I'm always dropping things. It's always on my left foot. <laughs> it's really frustration and maybe where you'll get your aches and your pains maybe it's on your in your shoulders you know are you carrying you know trapped emotions the weight of the world um you know heavy load uh, on your shoulders responsibilities maybe um you know different parts of your body different organs will hold and trap these emotions uh, it might be events in your past um you know, maybe as a child, somebody said something to you um, and you didn't imprint a memory of the actual event, but you imprinted a memory, a cellular memory of the feeling of that event. Does that, does that resonate? You know, the feeling is still there. The, the emotion is still there. 
not the actual event itself. And this often happens to us as children. We haven't, you know, brains haven't developed enough to, to put that in as a, as a memory. But you have that, uh, that feeling or emotion. Also, um, you may find that um, it's not even of this life. It could be a past life thing that is, is handed down the generations. Um, so you've no memory in this life of it at all. And yet your body is still uh, manifesting physically this if, uh, a response to this stress and, and bringing into your this life uh, events and um, uh, things, uh, experiences that can bring it to the fore, if you like. So that might be guilt, it might be shame, it might be betrayal, it might be rejection, all sorts of things. So shame is such a big one. Shame really says, I am bad. That's the energy of shame. I am bad, I'm a bad person. You know, nobody's bad, but that is the energy of shame. And it's very much often in the heart area. You know, it could be um, an ancient memory uh, of humiliation or uh, something like that that's caused you to, to have this, this shame. And it's so patient. It's like it stops you in your tracks from really being out there in the outer world because the inner world is so attached to this, this thing. Or it might be grief, you know grief i've you know like i'm um, or guilt even guilt guilt is another one it's not the same as shame guilt is i've done something wrong i feel guilty i've done something wrong so maybe i'm going to do something wrong again so it's like, again it's that sort of that barrier between you and just being open-hearted and just you know connecting with people and experiencing the world in a connected way because you're 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 trying to hide yourself you know you might you don't want to reveal this shameful bad energy or this guilt um, or whatever the trapped emotion is um and what i why i'm bringing it up now is that we are at this amazingly potent moment in the year we're coming up to the summer solstice and i will do a whole live all about that tomorrow um, and we've got eclipses we're going to have an eclipse this weekend as well these are transformative moments these are moments where we can move things out of the body we can move forward uh, to where we want to to be and um really it's a time of rebirth and the ancients have been using these uh these these change moments in the year for millennia you know the mayans the all the different uh, they they have ritual around this time and so again i will talk to you about a bit more about that tomorrow but this is a time when if there are trapped emotions we can help to let them go and really step into the life going forward without all that package you know it's all there in your in your backpack your virtual backpack and for some people it's just so heavy you know always got tension in the shoulders because this burden of this backpack is just so so heavy on your shoulders um and so grounding as ever keeps coming up doesn't it grounding so important get yourself into nature really connect with the earth really hear those messages and helps you to reflect on your inner world and this these trapped emotions um it's a great idea to to use ritual uh, to uh, to let go, but you can also use something called the emotion code, which is a really really potent um, practice. And I uh, practice this. So again, if anybody's local, or even like we can do it remotely, uh, if anybody wants to explore that um, as a therapy, uh, it's it's just so potent. It's so instantaneous, and it's wonderful. So we use muscle testing to test which emotion it is that's trapped um, and there's a whole chart i don't know if you can see that uh, but there's a whole chart of different trapped emotions and we work out which is the emotion 
through a series of muscle testing. And then if it's, um, if it's in your current life, this life, um, we just roll um, the, these little balls. These are magnetic balls. Um, and they're from this wonderful Japanese company that I just love. Uh, so you can roll it. They're a wonderful um, massage device as well if you've got any um, aches and pains and discomfort. Um, but what we do is we roll them down the governing meridian, uh, which, which really just helps to, when, it, when it's come up for, for release, it just helps to just move it on out of the body and this is why grounding is so effective because again you can just imagine it just really leaving yourself and into the ground so um we roll this a certain number of times if it's this life and more if it's a past life uh trapped in motion and then we muscle test to see has it gone is there anything behind it and often there's a whole like it's like a layer of the onions there's a whole layer that comes off and then there's more revealed underneath and really you only let go of what you're ready to let go of um it's life is a process isn't it and you know sometimes we're just not ready sometimes it serves us to hold on to things and um and sometimes it serves us to let go mostly but let's just hold on to maybe three percent and that's useful for whatever life experience we're here to have so you know there's this there's no sort of perfection in life it's just a process and each one of us is here for a different purpose and you know we're really getting into understanding why you're here i mean we're all moving towards death if, essentially aren't we and that that is life that is normal that is that is that is what is like that is the only absolute isn't it and so to just move through life without any kind of um, idea of your purpose here why are we here you know that's um, that's a great shame isn't it so i really encourage everybody just to you know ground yourself see if there's anything you can let go of now so that you can be more in alignment with your purpose in life and really lead this the most amazing life that you absolutely deserve to lead um so um like i say different organs so um it might be that it's in the heart you know it could be overstimulated or understimulated so it could be that um that you're feeling you know overjoyed <laughs> and then you're using up so much energy or it could be that uh, you've got so much heartache and that is really causing you so much pain or it might be the other side a more more of a yin a thing which is more about abandonment and loss and maybe you're not able to receive love uh, as much as as you deserve or or you know um because of attractive motion might be uh in your spleen or stomach that you're experiencing anxiety despair nervousness or worry uh or that you feel helpless or hopeless you know a lot of people have been feeling really helpless during this time because we've had all our powers given away and you know and, and fear uh it's been a really potent uh, emotion you know that loss of control and giving over your power to others we've really had to do that so that's really really bringing up a lot for people um or it might be liver or gallbladder that i've spoken about before and this this emotions around anger and um guilt uh bitterness resentment or it could be the other side where it's more manifesting as depression uh frustration or panic even could be a, you know really extreme or just be indecisiveness or something like that uh, or going through to your kidneys and your your bladder it could be like you know this sort of dread or fear horror could be something like really something like that blaming or or just conflict uh um creative insecurity is 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 a trap can be trapped emotion and that we're we're just stuck you know if we want to to bring something really creative out into the world, but we, we're stuck because of this tra trapped emotion. Or it could be that in our lower organs, our glands, uh, that it could be something like uh, overwhelm 
or humiliation or shame or pride or shock or I'm not worthy or I'm worthless. You know, any of these uh, could be um, trapped. And how wonderful, can you imagine how wonderful you will feel if you just let that all go or let go of what's ready to be released. And this, this is a, a wonderful practice. I really, really love it. It's called the Emotion Code. You could look it up uh, online and do get in touch if, if you want to, um, to try that. Um, I've even got, I've got uh, some special, special ones. You can't actually buy these. I was given these, these are what I call my golden balls. <laughs> these are magnetics as well. And they're just wonderful. Um, yeah. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a motion code today. Uh, and maybe just tune in with anything that's, that's wanting it self to be revealed to you right now um, see what it is and see if you can just imagine it just falling away from your your body okay i should look forward to seeing you tomorrow so as i say i'm going to do a whole uh, live all about uh, the summer solstice and uh, things that we can do uh, to support ourselves at this time and just be gentle go gently it's a really potently powerful time. So um, yeah, I wish you a gentle, lovely day. Bye for now.